In this video, we're going to learn about how to find modified rows when you are using a lightning data table base component in your LWC code. So you will also learn about how to bind the data. You will learn about uh, uh, options to enable inline editing. And uh, this is the core part, you know, and finding uh, modified rows, the entire record that has been modified. So not just the modified fields, or columns the entire record along with the ID etc so this is how it will look like uh, the final output so I do have a data table which is showing me the list of products name quantity and description I do have one uh, one field that is you know that is editable for example I can just uh, give that quantity and I can also give quantity for other product now as you can see there are just two records that has that have been modified right so the expectation is you go to inspect and then go to console when I click on save I just wanted uh, only these two records as you can see this right the modified rows is an array of objects so this is giving me you know the first product and the fifth product along with the quantity that I had entered on the page right so I can use this further to you know to store it back into the database or update the, the quantity back in the database isn't it so this is the expected output yeah. And as you can see, I'm not just uh, uh, fetching the, the, the column that have, that have been modified, right? The column that has been modified, uh, quantity, you know, only the quantity column. Instead, I'm just, I'm able to, you know, get the entire row, entire data, right? The uh, product ID, name, description, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, along with the flag modified equal to true. So let's see how we design this, right? Um, and then we'll discuss further. So to demonstrate this again, what I have done is I've just created a new uh, new lightning web component called product cart and this is the delighting data table and to make this video a little simple, I'm not fetching any data from the database. Instead, I'll just hard code the data, yeah, the data as if it is coming from the database. Okay, then we'll just focus on the core part. How do we find the modified rows, right? So that's the reason just, you know, hard coded this. Okay, and as you can see, Lightning Data Table, you know, the data property, you know, it just takes this, uh, uh, it just, you know, binding this property, the array of objects right here, product data and columns, we do have product columns right here. So we have the label product ID, name, quantity, description, this is the field name. So right in the data, against the field name, I'm just given, you know, all the, all the, all the data. And the product ID is the, is the key field for me because it is unique, uniquely identifying each record. So the key field is product ID for me and on click of save, I would like the save, you know, method in the JavaScript controller file to get caught. So that's the HTML done and back in the save, this is where the core logic needs to, you know, needs to be written. So to start with, yeah, the idea is I want to just loop through the base data and uh, find the modified rows. Okay. So using this, uh, you know, plain JavaScript uh, functions, I'm just going to, you know, do the same. I'm going to use map function. So I'll just say constant products data equal to this dot, you have the product data dot map. So I'm going to, see, I'm going to use map function. So this will definitely, you know, uh, I need to use a callback function, isn't it? So map function, I'll just say, record for each record in the base data and uh, what I'll do is for each record I want to know whether the record has been modified or not how do I do it so in lightning when when you use lightning uh, data table base component so you will have something called even dot detail draft values so this will you know this will give me the the record that has been modified on the screen by the user even dot detail draft list. i'm going to make use of this and then find the entire record that has been modified okay so so we'll just first do this <clears throat> even dot detail dot draft values dot find yeah there is a callback function i'm going to write a callback function value So say value dot product ID equal to equal to 
record dot product ID. So I'm just trying to find a match using product ID, you know, product ID field. Okay. And uh, if there is a match, then I'll have that modified record to store modified row or modified row or modified record. Yeah. I'll have that record stored in this, you know, on this, um, in this object. And then we'll just say return modified record. Right. So let's, let's try to, let's try to print the output and then let's further improvise this code. All right, just go to file and then save all. So, <clears throat> so this is the first, you know, piece of code. Let's first see how this works. Then we can, you know, further fine tune this code. I'll go to terminal, new terminal. And um, let me deploy this code, product cut. So let's wait for the deployment to complete. Perfect. So the deployment has just been completed. Now let's go back to our org and uh, let's try to bring that Let's bring that component back to the home page. Let me say edit page. Right, let's move the existing one. Let's try to use product cart. Right here, yeah. save. Let's go back. Good. Now I can see, you know, four columns appearing and all the data, isn't it? So let's open the console. Let me try to make a simple edit. Just row two and also row five. Yeah. Let's click on save and see what happens. Okay. As you can see, that is object object. Okay. Maybe I did not uh, stringify this. Let me just it's an object, right? I just have to stringify so that I can convert that object into into a string and I can just see that, you know, value back on the <clears throat> back in the console. So I'll just deploy this again. Right. Deployment is happening. It is done. Let me go back here. Let me refresh my page. All right, let's do this again. 22 and 55, let's say C. And as you can see, as you can see this, right? Of course, you know, I'm able to find the modified rows now, as in the second row and the fifth row, right? The other rows are null because I did not modify it. But as you can see, I'm just getting only the, the, the field that has been enabled, you know, as enabled in, in edit mode. For example, product quantity is the field that is that is you know editable, right? So I'm just seeing only the product quantity, okay, and the product ID. What if I want the other details, as in the name, description, and uh, you know, and the other details <clears throat> along with this? So this is where you know we're going to add some additional logic to bring the entire record, yeah, instead of just you know instead of just only the only the field, you know, that has been modi that has been modified, okay? So <clears throat> this is straightforward even with using this event uh, detail draft values you can still able to do it yeah but our our intention is to bring the entire record isn't it so for which we're just going to add another two lines of code that's all it is okay so this is where we are trying to find right from the entire data from the entire uh, uh, data set right we're trying to find only the modified records right now let me further improvise this yeah. So what I'll do is I'll just say, I'll just use a flag, okay, to indicate whether a particular record is modified or not. Okay. I'm going to use this flag. And how do I use it? I'll just say, say, if the record is modified, yeah, then certainly, right, I will get, uh, I will get, you know, an index. Otherwise, I'll get un <clears throat> undefined. 
I'll just say if it is not equal to equal to undefined, which means it is definitely you know uh, there is a there is a modified record. Yeah, if it, that is the if that's the case, then I'll just create a you know create a object modified true, and if not, I just wanted to have value as modified false perfect so now this flag you know flag will have an object will have will is an object which will have a key modified true or key modified false based on you know uh, based on the matching record or the modified record so now it is time for me to use spread operator i'll just say constant <clears throat> all records with status flag yeah which is equal to I'll simply say triple dot record comma triple dot the modified record comma triple dot basically I'm trying to merge all the three objects that's it that's what I'm just trying to do with. So this way, you know, I'm able to get a single record, yeah, with this with this flag, you know, modify true or false. Let's try to, you know, let's try to run this. What I'll do is I'll just copy this and then I'll just return this one. Okay. So this is, you know, this is the change. I just added two more lines. Let's just try to save all and then deploy and then see what happens. Okay, let the deployment complete okay let's go back there and this is the current uh, you know this is the current uh, uh, data right the output so let's try to refresh this we have null null okay let's refresh this clear the console yeah let's try this again and at 22 let me just modify the fourth record and now let's try to save and then see what happens and as you can see instead of null you are actually seeing the record even though it has not been modified right you can you're just seeing the record with a flag with a with a status flag modified false and look at the ones that are that are having records that are having modified true you know row number two yes i did modify row number four yes i did modify now you can see the entire record isn't it earlier case you were just you were just seeing only the field that only the field that has been modified isn't it but now you are seeing the entire record isn't it now it is time for us to further improve us now i got the entire record now i can simply use this modified true or modified false filter or the modified key to you know to find only the modified records again just a couple of lines of code so to find modified modified rows what you can do is you can just simply use <clears throat> object filter function which is very straightforward i can just copy this one i'll just say filter again it takes a callback function and i'll just say function record and uh, right here what i can do is i can just simply say return or give me all the records for which the modified key value is equal to equal to and equal to true and let's try to print this one just like uh, products data let's try to print the modified rows yeah. let me go back here let me just save and let's go and then deploy this right i think it's deployed yes it is let's go back here let's refresh this page but inspect so let's clear this one let's try to edit the first row let's try to edit the last row yeah when i click on save as you can see the products data of course you know it carries all the data 
and uh, you know with a value that are with, with a modified value that is fine along with the flag right but if you look at this array of objects right you will see only those records that have been modified again not just the fields you know that have been modified instead the entire record along with the id product id etc everything which you can later use in your code and further right take it back to the database and then update and do whatever you want to do yeah so this is how you can able to you know find the entire record that has been modified when you are using lightning data table in your lwc code so this is the these are the two key uh, again you know this is one of the one of the approaches you know in which you can able to find you can able to do this you can further you know optimize this uh, code and then you know make it little more you know simpler that is still you know um, there is still room to optimize but now i hope you know this has helped you to find uh, the entire rows you know that have been modified when you are using lightning data table based component in lwc code